Lord. Today we're looking at Deepin 15.5 and what a beautiful release. It's not like when I think it was 15.3 we were all astonished by the new features, by the new effects with this release or was it 15.4? I can't remember. Where this release is much more like smoother, settling it up, adding more of the new own apps to the system and also porting their desktop interface to other Linux based operating systems. It's amazing. As you can see the, the settings is absolutely beautiful. You see some weather notifications and when you click on your settings it's not anymore like a huge thing that goes down and down and down, but they like make it in separated corners and subsystems and it's absolutely amazing. They also got this new theme which I absolutely, absolutely love. The dark theme look works very well except for the file system which is the light, so I suggest that you keep it. The light but it's up to you. And the repos, because one thing which was always the problem with, with Deepin was the repos is so slow, but let's install the package and see how it goes. So I'm going to install VRC, which is a very well known player. Ah. How do you want to update VLC? <laughs> there we go. Slim me. As you can see, it's 24 megabytes. And let's see how fast it goes. As you can see, it's running at decent speeds. For my internet connection, this is really, I won't get much better than it on, on any other Linux base or any operating system base speed so it's they fix it clearly and this is default I didn't change the repos or mirrors or anything like that this is just my stock view it's kernel 4.9 it got some beautiful new wallpapers and also classics here and you can choose between what you want I love this one and you can by default it will be desktop and lock screen but you can set your lock screen on desktop with this and then you have your calendar which as always opens up the whole screen you have the if you click on your panel you can have mode let's quickly check it's a vision mode it's more like your windows layout where the, where the default is more like your Mac layout if you can even state it like this and you have your size options you can choose between plugins if you want to see a sound if you want to see your network if you don't want to see let's say you don't want to, your address icon no you need your address icon yeah if you don't want to see your power you can just take it away like that but then you lose your off button also so you don't want to do that <laughs> I'm a funny dude if you click on your off button you also get a link to your start system monitor which is what a unique place to put it but it's there and as you can see, it's the own app already had for a while, very, very nice. And it's not so, doesn't take a lot of power, but if it's too much for your system and they only got a 64 bit version for free, if you want 32 bit, it's, it's pricey. You have to pay for it and you have to contact them for it, but they got this, we take a lot of the effects away and your, Memory is stored with about 300 megabytes, so it's quite nice. I'm gonna go back as my computer can manage 
it marvim and Chrome the latest the god deep and movie the latest version deep and music the software centers the old time growing with more apps and more love and it's absolutely worth checking out and it's one of the best software centers out there in the whole wide world and you can play around you can check for all these ones i'm just gonna go look at all the deepen apps which is available and we can see they got a lot of they got emacs programming to make usb bootable usb drives deepen movie deepen screenshot terminal open simple their own tap installer system deepen game I don't even know what deep in game is the presentation assistant that you can make use your phone to present things on your computer. Um deeper music which is a flat pack, so as you can see they are also moving to flat packs, which is quite amazing. Deep and clone is pretty installed on your system and we will have a look at it now. And image screen recorder scanner. Deep in recovery. Oh, I wonder what this is. Let's open them both up. The password very required. Calendar we already have, and they got a. As you can see, they add a lot of flat pack support in this, into the system, and they also got this new color picker. It's a nice app which you can install and the beta app is pre-installed but basically you can click on any any color on your desktop and it will tell you exactly what color it is. It's a really nice tool to have. As you can see, I think it's the same tool. Basically you can clone your disk that you can have exactly your disk as it is here that if it breaks you can just move, you can make an image of your disk and you can restore image to disk which is very 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 cool if you go to the menu well, of course you go to multitasking which is one of the most delightful multitasking windows so you can see all your apps open up here and then you can choose between your windows you can add, you can remove you can change the wallpaper like a normal session and menu you can make your icons bigger and smaller by pressing ctrl and plus together to make them bigger and ctrl and minus to make it smaller and of course you can make it like this smaller and it's very nice for like the windows layout which we looked earlier a very familiar layout and as well as you can go bigger which is maybe good for the Mac and you can also go like this and see what's going on they also got crossover pre-installed and Fox Reader is new I believe VPS by default crossover is a very nice app to install Windows programs on Linux and most of the time it's based on Wine but most of the time it's a paid app in most Linux systems in Deepin is one of the only ones, it is the only one that we do it's offer it for free but the others cost, cost about 40 bucks we've been using it for a while at, at the university where I'm working and runs MS Office fantastic and things like that so if you need something specific you can check on the website what runs and what the reviews and things of it before using it. It's a brilliant way of testing it out. So yeah, it's a great app, it's a great system and I just give the thumbs up for the work they put in it. It's much more reliable, much smoother, based on Debian and it's fantastic. Thank you for watching, see you later, goodbye.